what is the science to light a candle? Imagine there is one candle that is already lit and we bring another candle near it. It gets lighted up too. And then with this lit candle, we can light so many other candles. So new command that Jesus Christ has given us is this that love one another. Imagine this love as the flame and ourself as a candle. Unless I am myself lit, how can I make another person lit? How can I make my brother and sister lit? How can I give love to to my girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, wife, children, parents, neighbors? How can I without without having love in myself so i have decided something now earlier i used to make video in which i'm speaking something to you but now what is the difference between you and me when we are lit together we both are the flame we both are giving the light and without individuality is there of the darkness that i am one candle you are another candle but when we both cast the flame, then our identity became the light. We are the same light. And uh, so I have decided that now I will make video in which I will not teach you anything. Although God is only the teacher and God teaches us through the Holy Spirit. So I am speaking to just myself about this flame and I will like the candle that tried to light itself up and i will stay near you if these words that are the flame like jesus said that my words are life-giving so i will bring this life-giving word of the christ near you i'm just a candle and this flame that is the life-giving words of the christ it will work in you and it will awaken you so there are three stages of a spiritual upliftment every religion even of the world or any relationship in the world starts with duality there is relative the word relative is dual it is it means there is you and there is somebody else and that's why there is a relationship so if you study the science there is always duality if you study any religion there is duality no matter what religion people are speaking of there is duality there is you and there is somebody else some other entity is present even this new age religion there people speak of some angels or some higher being some vibration of themselves in the future or something there is duality there is me of now me here who is here and rest of the world so there is duality so this is the first step to begin with like i and jesus is there when i believe it then i started my first step into this religion or in anything if you study the science then even in, st in studying the science if you are studying the gravity then there is you and there is a concept of gravity there there is duality so everywhere there is duality and after when we rise above duality when i am i believe in jesus then what happens is this that i rise to some higher level of spirituality and we reach to the second level of the spirituality and this second level is is of grace we enter into the grace and we cannot expect grace in our life until we rise into the second level of the spirituality like this person whom you love if you feel that anything that is in your life is because of that person whom you love that you are being loved by Jesus. If you love Jesus, if you call yourself Christian, or if you believe that you are spiritual, 
then until and unless that is spirituality falls in you, until and unless your candle also get the flame and you see the light in your life, how can you reach, you expect the grace in your life? The grace happens when we get to realize that everything that is in our life is because of the Jesus. And when Jesus is teaching scripture, he is teaching it repeatedly that it is my flesh that is given to you, you to eat unless until unless someone eats my flesh or drinks my blood. Such thing Jesus is saying that everything that is happening in our life is because of him. When Pilate wa wa was asking Jesus that he has power to free him, Jesus says that you only have what authority. He said that he had the authority, Pilate said. Jesus said, you have this authority because it is given to you. So everywhere Jesus is teaching that we, whatever we are is given to us. When we realize this, then we reach to the second level of the spiritual upliftment. And we see that everything around us is from, from because it is given to us. It is because of our beloved. It is because of the love. Like I'm making video and uh, it is a duality and you are some person somewhere away from me right here. There is duality but then I know that Jesus will bring you here and because of the Christ you will be listening to me. So there is a second upliftment where we come together and then there is the third state from Christ to grace to final state that we reach is is of the God and uh, when we reach to the God what remains there we cannot speak of the of, by the word Jesus said that there the time will come when we will worship the God as God really is by the spirit we worship the God by the spirit and where Jesus says that I and my father are one it is beyond the words to explain, like anything that you read in the scripture is the work of the Holy Spirit. So in the first step, there is the work of the Holy Spirit. And who is the Holy Spirit? According to Jesus, Holy Spirit is, is the helper who has come in your life. So everything that you see around, everyone who is in your life is there because of the power of the Holy Spirit in you. And uh, anything that you read in the scripture, anybody you like in the scripture, it's all the work of the Holy Spirit. And then there comes Jesus when the grace enters in your life. And after Jesus, when you enter into the Jesus, what you see is the Father and where Jesus leads you to that entity, that individuality, that reality in which you, Jesus says, I and my Father are one. What remains there, we cannot explain it in the word. So, happy Thanksgiving. And I made this video just to thank you for being here. And may God bless you. Uh, we love because it is given to us. We can light a candle when we ourselves are lit. So, I'm praying for you. <laughs> thank you. May God bless you.